my favorite things from 2025, Octopus, Archaeopteryx, and Nanotyrannus. Coming in at number three, the rubber hand illusion is a classic experiment where you hide a human's real hand behind a barrier, show them a fake one, and touch both at the same time. Eventually, the human appears to think that their fake hand is their real one. Scientists recently discovered that octopus appear to fall for the same illusion. Scientists hid the octopus's real arm under a barrier, put a fake arm on top of it, touched both for a while, and then pinched just the fake arm. The octopuses reacted defensively, backing away and changing color. The findings suggest that octopus may have the same mind-body awareness that mammals do. Coming in at number two, discovered in 1861, Archaeopteryx is a transitional fossil that first showed us that birds and dinosaurs were related. Recently, paleontologists studied a well-preserved specimen using micro-CT scanning and ultraviolet light. For the first time ever, they saw tertial feathers, which are the feathers closest to the bird's body. They're essential for flight. It's a great reminder that as we discover new fossils and use different technology, even the classics of paleontology can show us something new. Coming in at number one. For years, paleontologists have been trying to decide, is Nanotyrannus its own dinosaur or is it just a teenage T-Rex? Well, we may finally have an answer. Looking at a specimen that was preserved as part of the dueling dinosaur fossil, scientists were able to see the number of vertebrae it had, and it's less than a T-Rex. You don't add vertebrae as you get older. They also looked at cross sections of its bones to tell how old it was when it died, and it was 20, definitely not a teen. This animal probably roamed the woods alongside T-Rex, eating different things and filling a different niche. It's hard to get more exciting than those top three, but I can't wait for 2026 and all the great new science stories that we'll hear.